Hello, my friends. It's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could stop by today. We have got a fantastic video lined up for you. You know that the saying, what's old is new again? There was an old technique many, many moons ago called the mosaic technique. You know, it was time to bring this technique back because it's gorgeous. I am so excited to share two cards with you today featuring the mosaic technique. One we're going to stamp, the other we're going to use designer series paper. So no matter how much time you have on your hands, this card is for you. Let's go get started. Here are the mosaic cards we're going to create today. What do you think? It's just a really fun technique, how to take just a normal piece of either designer series paper or stamped cardstock and create a unique look. Super simple, I know you're going to enjoy this one. We're gonna start with the simplest version and this one is created with designer series paper. You don't need a lot to create the card. We always love that. I'm going to start with a piece of basic white thick cardstock as my card base. This is a five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, so that's going to fit into a medium sized envelope. Next, I'm going to bring in two pieces of shaded spruce. These are the same size, these are three and a quarter by four. And last, like I said, we're going to use designer series paper um, to make this card just super simple. Uh, this is is a three and a quarter by three and three quarters. The last thing you're going to need is just a little scrap of some basic white that's so that we can punch our sentiment. All right, so first things first, let's talk about how to create that great mosaic with your designer series paper. You're going to need your paper trimmer to do this technique. And I'm going to begin, I'm gonna take that three and three quarters and I wanna put that up at the top, all right? Now, you're gonna love this because there's really no measuring here. You're just going to slice. So what you want to do is decide which direction you want your first slice. I'm gonna have my angle going over here to the bottom right. Give yourself, oh, you know, a little quarter of an inch here. And you can see I've got maybe about half an inch there. Again, no measuring. So let me cut my first splice. Do you see how it's kind of cut at an angle? Now what I want to do is I want to make sure all these pieces stay in order. If they get out of order, you'll be able to put them back just like putting a puzzle together, but it's kind of nice to just keep them all in order. So now for my next cut, I'm going to want about that, oh, half an inch or so and a quarter inch down here, but what you don't want is a straight cut. So everything you want to cut at an angle, all right? And like I said, there's no right or wrong, but I can always come back and look. So now I can see I'm just gonna tilt and cut, tilt the other direction and cut. You can see there are all my pieces. I've kept them in order. And I can kind of see how my mosaic pattern is going to go. I'm now going to bring in one of my pieces of shaded spruce. And what we want to do is we're going to adhere these down onto that piece of cardstock. Now, you can use um, your multi-purpose glue. That's kind of what I prefer. It's just a little bit easier to work with. But you can use um, your uh, stamp and seal as well. It doesn't take a lot of glue. I got a little globby there. But what we want to do is we want to start right here on the end. Remember, this is a straight piece. And I'm going to put this right here. Before I go any further, I want you to know this entire piece is going to be cut down. Perfection is not, if you've gone up a little bit, don't worry about it. We're going to be trimming it down. Now I'm going to take my next piece. Again, just a little adhesive. And let me show you, you want just, just a hair of a mosaic or a grout line, I guess, really, that's what we're doing. And uh, the other reason I like to use my multi-purpose glue, it's very forgiving um, to be able to uh, move it around if I need to. And friends, we are just simply going to keep doing this. Just kind of follow your, your grout line, your faux grout line. And we're just going to adhere all of our pieces down. All right, it's time to add our very last one. And I want you to see it is going to hang off. All right, I'm very aware of that. So actually, you know what? I think I'll just put my adhesive right there just to kind of make it a little bit easier for me. Um, but yeah, this last one, you can 
see let me adhere it down and flip it over do you see we definitely have some hanging off but remember what i said we're going to be trimming it down let's start at the edge that we know is flat remember we line that one up perfectly and what i want to do is i want to cut an eighth of an inch off all right so uh, not a quarter of an inch just go down and we're going to trim that away and in fact i even want to show you some of the little pieces came off of it because i didn't have glue up at the top but remember i knew that i was going to be trimming this down all right so this is now a perfectly straight edge so i'm going to bring this around and all i want to do because of my um, piece of designer series paper that's hanging off just just get a little bit of it the, again there's no right or wrong so don't stress over it I'm going to rotate it again and now this will be cut down three inches okay because we're only cutting off a quarter of an inch so I measured instead of measuring that quarter of an inch you can just measure at three yep lots of little pieces here and my final cut will be there at three quarters of an inch and we'll trim that one away and that is what we have so we allowed this first piece to be kind of our grout lines and now i'm going to add it to another piece of shaded spruce so it really gives it the look of a mat you are welcome to change up that back piece as well but now i'm going to show you how we're going to create this card the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my double oval punch um, because I need to get a back piece for my sentiment. So I'm just going to push this cardstock in as far as it will go. I'm going to give it a punch. And you notice I got two. I actually don't need this one. I only need my oval. We're going to take our gorgeous uh, mosaic tile and I'm going to adhere that right on top because I have a punch out of that, I'm really just going to stick to the edges here. We will add that. We're going to cover that up. If you guys have followed me for any length of time, you know I love to get the most out of my cardstock. I love to be able to punch from behind a layer because why not? I'm going to dress this up with a little bit of ribbon and the wild wheat, I loved pulling out that little bit of wild wheat here. So I'm just going to cut this just a little bit longer than my cardstock. And that's so I can adhere that on the back. My favorite method for adhering this down is just a little scotch tape. Now, I know some of you are not a fan of using scotch tape. You can always come in with tear and tape and go over your ribbon, whatever works best for you. I'm gonna come in with another piece and you notice I'm leaving it on the spool. It's easier. I'm going to just tie this over in a knot and I'm going, oh, maybe about two thirds of the way down. Don't worry, I can slide it around so I'm not worried about perfection just yet. We'll trim away the excess. I'm now going to adhere this on my card and you notice how I've got it kind of moved over to the left side. That is definitely the direction I want to go. If you want, you could even add this with dimensionals. I didn't on my original, but you know what? I say let's try it. Why not try some Stampin' Dimensionals, right? Dimensionals make everything better. All right, let's remove our backings. We're now going to add this to the front of our card and I wanna center it on the left side. So top, bottom, and left side. I'm going to take that oval, and now this is where I said this ribbon can slide around. I'm gonna slide it out of my way here for just a second. And I'm going to add this here. Do you see I have just a little bit hanging off? Perfect. One Stampin' Dimensional here on the end, so that one will go there. But you know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple here. Now I'm not gonna go in the center, I'm only going to go at the top and the bottom of that oval. Because that ribbon is there, I don't want too much bulk. So how about we just go about right there. And the other reason I don't want a dimensional there, I'm gonna kinda of tuck that ribbon a little bit. So let's decide where we want our oval. I can now slide my ribbon down in place. Now we're gonna create our sentiment. Now for my other card, I'm going to be using Artistically Inked. And you know what? I wanted just a simple card that said hello, and that was perfect. I'm going to bring in a shaded spruce ink pad. Just here on the scrap, we'll stamp hello. I'll slide that down into my punch, and I'm gonna center that up, give it a punch add my adhesive. I've been using my multi-purpose glue. I'm just going to keep using it. And we're just going to create a simple hello. So sweet. One last thing because it needs just a little bling. 
I love the adhesive back sparkle gems. I just think they are gorgeous. I will add three of those going right down the right side of my card. And there we go. I mean, that was a fast card, right? A very, very fast card. And I loved how we were able to punch um, our oval from behind that layer. And you never even knew it, right? All right, now I wanna just go ahead and teach you my other card because I got a few tricks here. Don't worry about writing down any of those measurements because I have got a free download that goes along with today's video. Here on this download, you're going to have all the measurements, photos, a complete supply list, if you need to come back and watch the video again, I've got a link and a QR code to do that. And if you need to order any of the supplies, I'd love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You could order right there. Friends, you're going to find this download at simplysimplestamping.com or the easy method. Just look down in the YouTube description for the direct link that will take you to today's post. You'll see a blue button that says grab your download here. All right, let's get going with our second card. And in this one, you can see I kind of basically just created my own designer series paper. Um, I am going to be using, once again, the artistically inked stamp set. Um, I liked this flower here and this big set of leaves. We're going to use uh, these little dots to do some filling in and hello as well. It's party time. Pool party and parakeet party are my ink colors. I'm going to do something I don't do very often, and that is to have two ink pads open at the same time. I always get worried I'm going to ink the wrong stamp in the wrong color, but I'm going to keep these stamps right here in place. But this technique, I just found that this worked better for me. All right, we're going to start with our flower and pool party, and I'm going to stamp it right up here in the corner. Now I'm going to take my leaves, and you can kind of decide where you want those to go. I think I'll go about right there. Now I can add another flower and I'm just gonna kind of keep alternating this, all right? So see, I'm just gonna add some leaves. I'll add, let's see, how about a flower about right there? Don't worry, we'll have more that we can fill in. And I'll add some leaves there. I'll fill in right there. Let me get another one on the edges. And do you see, I'm just gonna like tuck in. I'm just gonna tuck in a leaf, you know, it just kind of fills up everything. All right, now I do have some white space. So we're gonna come in with our Memento Black and we're gonna take the word hello. Now, before I do this, I wanna show you, I want all my hellos going the same direction, right? So I wanna make sure I've got the three and three quarters uh, going this way. And I'm gonna take this hello stamp in the black ink and do you see how this kind of just lets me sort of fill in? And I'm rotating my hello, so it has a really good random feel to it. Now, we also have this great little tiny speckle. And what I loved about this speckle is uh, just some little dots. But boy, look at what that does to my card. It adds so much. So anywhere you see a little, a little white space or you just feel like it, it needs a little something. You know what? I think I'm good with that. I like how that looks. We'll bring in our paper trimmer and you know the drill. We're going to start at an angle. So I've got narrow at the top, wide at the bottom, splice. And we will just now go wide at the top, narrow at the bottom. Remember, there's no right or wrong. And you know, if your pieces come out bigger than mine or smaller than mine, that's all right. It's not going to matter. I'll show you uh, here when we put this card together, I'll show you what I mean. So I have nine pieces here and I only had six here and that's okay. There's no right or wrong. So I'm going to adhere these pieces down just like you saw me do before. And just to change things up a little bit, I'm actually going to make my grout line even a little bit bigger. So again, even on that grout line, you can make it as wide as you want. Remember, like I said, perfection's actually not the name of the game when it comes to a mosaic card. Yeah. Just make sure your pieces are staying in order because with that word hello, we want to make sure that those are staying in order. But the size of your pieces, the size of the grout line, that's all about your creativity. All right, I have all my pieces on. There's just a hair left there and I even have a piece left over. Remember. Starting with the three and a quarter at the top, we're gonna cut it down one eighth of an inch here. I've got a little hanging off here. I'm actually going to flip this around. Again, I just wanna make sure I'm always working 
with a straight edge up at the top. So now I've got a couple straight edges. I'll flip this around again. And remember, this will be now three and three quarters. Our final piece should be a three by three and a half. And then remember, we're going to add that to our panel. But don't forget, we want to grab that double oval first. We can cover that up. And then of course, everything, you've already seen it made. We're gonna add our ribbon, we're gonna add our bow, add our, another hello, this one of course I stamped in the memento black, and then I added the black rhinestones on the end. So there we go, guys, I'm telling you, mosaic cards are a winner for sure, because it's a great way to use up maybe some leftover scraps, or you can create your own designer series paper. And can I share one other tip? And it's my favorite tip of all. And that is to now write inside these cards and mail them to a friend to say hello and brighten their day. Thank you all so much for being here. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and YouTube can let you know whenever I am back with another video. While you're at it, share with your crafty friends. We'd love to have them here on the channel. Thank you again, everyone. I can't wait to stay up with you soon. Bye-bye.